Welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to find how to divide two numbers. And the answer, what we're going to call is the quotient. So the main question that I want to ask you, you know, when we're looking into dividing numbers, um, dividing is the inverse operation of multiplication. So rather than saying, you know, what number multiplied by another number, um, what we're going to do is say, you know, how many times does one number evenly divide into it? And it's very closely related to multiplication. So what I'm asking on this problem is negative 24 divided by 4. And another way to kind of word that is, how many times does 4 evenly go into negative 24? So, or not even evenly, just how many times does it go into it? So one thing that we can kind of think about this, it's really helpful to understand the multiples of your number that you're dividing by. So if I'm dividing by 4, I can just write the multiples of 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and 24. And I'm not really going to uh, be concerned right now with this negative sign. Uh, that's going to work myself into the answer as well. But what I notice is 4, if you know this is 4 times 1, 4 times 2, 4 times 3, 4 times 4, 4 times 5, and 4 times 6 equals 24. So when I say, you know, negative 24 divided by 4, how many times does 4 go into negative 24? Well, it goes in there 6 times. But since that's a negative 24, we're going to say it goes in there a negative 6 times. Um, anytime you have a negative number divided by a positive number, you know that it's going to be a negative. Now let's look at another answer, negative 16 divided by 2. So what, again, what we're asking is how many times does 2 go into negative 16? Again, I'm going to kind of reverse my multiplication and uh, just th or reverse the division by thinking about multiplication. So again, I'll just write the multiples, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So how did I get to 16? What did I have to multiply by 2 to get to 16? Well, that was 2 times 8. All right, and like I said, we can probably actually use dots. Hopefully, we're at this point. I don't know why I came with these x's. That's kind of like old school. But so we have 16 equals 2 times 8. So what that means is 2 goes into 16 8 times. But since that's a negative 16, we're going to say it goes in there negative 8 times. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you define the quotient by dividing numbers.